You guys already know, with how last week's episode ended, I had to bring back this shirt, the boy himself. I just wish we could see this round, like, six go at it, because we still don't know what happened with Zeke. But as long as this man right here is back, I am A-OK. -okay. Also, speaking of that man being back, what's up, Dapper Squad? I want to show you the sword I got. Look at this. Tell me, doesn't tell me I don't look like I should be in the scouts. This thing is heavy as shit. I'm gonna hopefully be taking some pictures with it later, posting it maybe on Instagram and Twitter. So go follow me over there, Instagram and Twitter. It's gonna be a good time. This sword is dope. But last week's episode ended off in the craziest of places with Hanji seemingly doing the enemy of my enemy possibly is my friend or at least temporary alliance member and we don't want the world to be destroyed so let's work together uh she was talking to peak and magath about levi being alive this is gonna be crazy like i said we still don't know what happened to zeke we still have historia to deal with we still have hitch and annie to deal with we still have armin and mikasa to deal with then we have flock and what's going on with him and then we have aaron and the rumbling and then we have connie and Falco going to Rogoko. <laughs> like, what the hell is this? And we, what, have like five more episodes, four more episodes left in this? I have no idea how they're going to wrap this up. I'm super excited for the ending, though. This show has been a staple of my weekly routine. I'm going to be so sad when it's gone. I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. I got to find out what happens, though. I'm super excited. Don't forget, if you guys want to watch the full-length version uncut of this one or early access and full-length to the other shows I'm watching, um, like 86, Ranking of Kings, Black Clover, check out that Patreon. Links are in the description down below. Don't forget to follow all the social medias, like I said, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Let's hop into this. Attack on Titan, Season 4, Episode 24, I believe. This one's called Ride. Let's do this. R.I.P. to Oliver and this gentleman who is just trying to help Oliver. Oh, it's Hanji. She's crying, having to deal with her own. Were these? Yeah, they were Jaegerists, but they were scouts, Eldians at the end of the day. That's sad. They are the ones chasing him down the river. Oh, my God. His face is so fucked up. That makes sense, honestly. Shouts out to Hanji's suturing, suturing skills. Yeah. So I'm assuming this is immediately after they got out of the river, so Eren still hasn't done exactly the rumbling yet. Uh, with Sanas. Yep. I remember that. He said this: the cycle will never stop. Oh, that's actually a great throwback right there. What do you say we live? Oh, this. Oh my God, this is it. She got added in Discord. Yes, definitely lie back down. My goal is to kill Zeke and Magath and fucking Peek are like, hey, same. Bo Magath Peek Finger. I don't know her last name was Finger. It's a good question, Magath. He's being he's humbling himself before you. Whether you shoot or listen is up to you. He's leaving the ball in your court. These shots are crazy. It did get absorbed by the hallucinogenia. This is the team up of all team ups. Because <laughs> Oh my god. Continuing with the rumbling. It's literally never ending Colossal Titans. Mikasa and John locked up. Just processing what's going on. I know. Think about the horrible thing you're doing. He is, he is feeling guilty about this. That's a good question. I don't think Sasha would have ever done this. That's where he. That's where Falco remembered Connie from. Was the the airship. His mom is still just in the same position. 
いですか Yeah, what were you gonna do, Connie? You can tell Falco's on edge right now. He's putting two to get, he puts two and two together pretty damn quick. Okay, there's just no way in hell I'm believing that. Why would we brush a titan's teeth? Do you think he would fall for this? What the hell is going on? And here comes, oh, he's gonna hold him. Oh, it's, yep, Gabby and Armin. Connie's gonna hold him hostage. Oh no, this is the worst case scenario right here. I hate seeing Connie like this. Connie was my boy. He's like, the Jaws power? What do you mean? Yeah. What about Porco? He's like, what would Ervin do? What does Armin have planned? He's either going to kill Connie's mom or sacrifice himself. And both plans... I. I was gonna say if this is how Armin dies, I would be a flabbergasted. It only took the cost of one of his only close best friends in the world, you know. He didn't have a plan if you hadn't saved him. Yeah, he was gonna sacrifice. He was fully prepared. Wouldn't be the first time he was in a titan's mouth. Yeah, you also gotta... I like how he thought about what Sasha would think earlier, but you also do got to think what mom would think. You almost killed, you know. They're both dealing with their internal struggles, and they're both rough. I'm just glad these two are actually alive and back together. That's a goal you should want to live up to right there. Let's do it. Still very redeemable. You had one slip up, but after everything that's gone through, everything you've gone through as together, it's okay. We've all had our slip ups. Oh yeah, she took the scarf because Mikasa did say the scarf was missing. Her name's Luisa, right? Luis, something like that. The girl Mikasa saved season one. Oh, I do remember there was an explosion right next to her when the rumbling happened. It's a very complex scenario you know shinzo sasageo you know but it's like at what cost is it right or wrong as they're scooping up literally wheelbarrows of limbs and bodies you know it's like it's like it's who knows who knows what's right and wrong and all this you know to me it sounds like the bells of freedom that's a crazy concept but it's the end finally the end of the rumble well, at least on our side it's going I am a little nervous about John. He is definitely in a questionable area similar to Connie, you know? I it's a, it's a moral dilemma, we'll call it, so... That's a great transition from the struggle from the the military and their Shinzo Sasageo and the civilians and how they're leaving, living life right now, you know? They're celebrating the finally free from the world's prosecution, you know? Persecution. How are we not? How are we just taking this so lighthearted like this? And they're all gone, yeah. With a note. And so that's how that party got together, okay. Yelena, I'm cool with. If John kills Anya Capone, especially being the only black man in the show, there's no way. Block is a great instigator. He riles people up like crazy. You whore. Send her to hell. Like, look. Oh, my God. Like, are these the people we vote for, though? This is straight, like, barbaric. But he's not doing it yet. Block is the first one to not hesitate to Tell him. You speak your truth. You xenophobic shits. Oh, wow. My man is speaking his truth. 
Yeah, I like they're all like rabid dogs. It's so crazy. I swear to. Oh my god, you don't know how shocked I was that this man did not. What are you doing, John? Let him die for once! No! It was John's signal. So we got plans on plans on plans. We still got shit like this going on. Is that Keith? I mean, he just looked bald with that head. It's the only bald guy I could think of right now. So I'm assuming, I, I'm praying that Peak, Magath, and Hanji were also in on this plan and ate them to not eat them, but okay. Let's go. I was so nervous. I'm so glad John picked the right decision. I'm so glad. Look at how beautiful that water looks with that reflection. Holy shit. Who's waking Reiner up like that? Oh, it's Annie. Oh my god, imagine waking up and seeing Annie. Damn. This is a little awkward. I'm telling you, bro. The enemy of my enemy is my allies. Like, these guys working together to go handle Eren now. Is the craziest of all crazy. Like that was like the Avenger shot of fucking like what the hell? Oh my god. I know I've said it like four times throughout the episode, but I love the whole the enemy of my enemy is my potential friend or ally, whatever you want to consider it. But we definitely have some bigger fish to fry, like bigger fish to fry. Ergo, Aaron and his humongous founding form. So we still have to we haven't seen him since he did all that and in terms of like inter when he added all i love how we got hanji and levi's perspective of the events that's been going on and how hanji felt so bad about killing ld and soldiers even if they had turned you know like they're just they're just souls have gone down the wrong path you know that's it it's a it's a very sad situation i definitely agree i agree with levi like let's not run let's fight you know what is there to what will be left you know like this whole thing is crazy I respect Armin's resolve to be able to snap some sense into Connie and finally have him, you know, get out of his little days. I know he misses his mom. I completely, completely understand that. But I also loved what he said about, like, would his mom, would Sasha be okay with these things he's doing? You know, his mom wanted him to be a splendid soldier. A splendid soldier wouldn't kill a kid, you know, and sacrifice a child. So it's like, I completely understand that moral dilemma. Him and John made the right decision in this episode, and I, I just reaffirmed my love for them throughout this show. And I just know, rewatching the show, like I can already tell you, like, because I've done this with two specific people of my of my in real life friends. I got them both in anime, and I, I watched all of Attack on Titan with both of them individually. And just like rewatching it, I know I'm just gonna like as soon as I see Connie, John. Annie, right? Like, just so many characters that are going to have such an important role to play throughout. It's just, it's so crazy the investment that we've had into these characters over literally years. We've seen them grow up. We've seen them make wrong decisions. We've seen them make crazy decisions. We've seen them do amazing things. But that Avenger shot at the end of this episode was fucking crazy. You know that was sick. And then we're teaming up. Like, it's the, it literally is that we're teaming up. We got everyone teaming up against Eren right now. This is. If you had started this show telling me that this is what how this show would be ending, I would slap you and call you crazy. I swear on everything. Like, this is not how I would ever expect this. But we got Peak, Magath, Gabby, Falco, Annie, Armin, Connie, Picasa, and Reiner, and Levi, and Hanji. The Avengers Endgame will fucking attack on Titan. I just, uh, there's a, I just wish there was a couple other people I missed, man. <laughs> fucking Aravan, oh, so many people. I'm not gonna bring them up. God damn, I miss them. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. I could be like Corey Kenshin. Don't forget to, it's the same where I slice that like button, guys. You know, subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon, all that jazz. Before I cut you guys up like a titan, you guys better watch out. I'm Levi out here. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Have a great day. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Slay titans out there. Have a great day at Upper Squad. Peace.